Now these immersive devices demand an immersive experience. And currently when you're joining with the immersive device, you're still stuck outside the island. You're exactly like a HoloLens. But that's not what we want. We want to actually take advantage of the immersive device. So in this section, we're going to let you go on to the beautiful tropical paradise and enjoy the sounds of the crashing waves and teleport about. In order to do that, you'll need to learn some new controls. So please familiarize yourself with a couple of more Xbox controller buttons. The two shoulder buttons on the top will rotate you either right or left, depending on which one you tap. And then the Y button will teleport you. The way this works is you hold down the Y button, and then you look around, and you'll see a cursor with a little spinning arrow. If you let go of the Y button while there's a spinning arrow, you'll go to where the cursor is. Now, if the arrow stops spinning, that means that you're looking someplace that it doesn't know how to put you there. So if you let go of the Y button without a spinning arrow, you'll stay where you're at. All right, simple enough. A is still air tap. So we're going to add the teleport code. And we're going to make it so that people in the immersive headsets will show up on the island. Only the first three people in the immersive headset will show up on the island. So again, I recommend in this section to do three people in the immersive headset at a time so that you can experience the, the immersion and not be stuck outside the island, which is fun, but not the most fun. All right, so let's get this wired up in Unity. In the hierarchy panel on the left-hand side, select us land. And then look in the inspector on the right-hand side. And check the box next to maze entry stuff. This is the script that keeps track of the majority of the app state. Helps us go to the island, know who's on the island and where. And then in the hierarchy panel, select mixed reality camera parent. And then go back over to the right-hand side of the screen. And you can see the transform is lonely, so click Add Component so we can give it a friend. We will, call it, we will look for Mixed Reality Warp. And this is the script that will move our Mixed Reality Camera Parent around in the world. Now, why do we need a script like this? That's a good question. On HoloLens, you don't. On HoloLens, if the user wants to walk to the other side of the room, they use their feet, and they walk to the other side of the room. But in the immersive headset, if you want to walk to the other side of the room, you will run out of cable length. And so we use the mixed reality camera parent to move where the camera is in the scene. It's almost like you had a cart, and you put a camera on top of the cart. And you can move the camera around, and you can also move the cart around. All right, you're the camera, and the camera parent is the cart. So let's see how this script works. We'll go ahead and double click on Mixed Reality Warp. And that will open up this simple script in Visual Studio. And it really is simple, I'm not being facetious. So in the update function, all we need to do is ask the Xbox controller, hey, is the left bumper up or is the right bumper up? And if they have just come up for the current frame that you're on, then we say, yep, it is time to rotate. And when we rotate, we use a technique that's common in immersive experiences, which is to fade out and then do your change of scenery and then fade back in. And this is to prevent people's brains from saying, wait, how the heck could I possibly move instantly 30 degrees to the left? That can cause some people to feel uncomfortable. And so we fade out and fade in to keep people comfortable. If you've watched enough YouTube videos with VR and people playing pranks on each other or using uncomfortable apps, you know that there is a spectrum of tolerance to being in an immersed experience. Some people get very sick if they are put into an immersed experience and the, the camera is moved in a way that is not in line with what they're doing with their bodies. So you need to be very cognizant of that. It would be okay to make a roller coaster application or a Harry Potter broom ride application for people who are expecting to be in an experience like this. But if they're not expecting it, then what you are doing is not very nice. And we want 
people to feel comfortable and safe that they know what they're getting into if they're getting into one of these immersive experiences. So please don't surprise your users with gags like that. It's not funny except to you. All right? If you are going to have people move by, say, using the thumbstick instead of a teleportation thing, keep the movement slow. The slower, the better, so that people aren't instantly feeling uncomfortable. All right? And since we're doing this, you know, use the bumpers to rotate so much, it it's good to have landmarks in your skybox or whatever you're using as a scene so that the user doesn't get confused about what direction they're facing. Because if everything looks the same around you, you don't know which way is north. And that could cause the user to not have a good time in the experience. All right, so we're about to experience this. Just like last time, let me go ahead and file save scenes. Just like last time, we're going to have your mentors help you get hosting, three people in the HoloLens, three people in the immersive device. If you're the sort of person who likes to explore inside of an immersive world, this is your chance to go exploring our island and going nuts and trying to figure out where our colliders are insufficient to keep you from going off the beaten path. This deploy, you can do it. The next deploy, we're going to be working together, and if you go off the beaten path, you might actually ruin the experience for everybody else, and you don't want to be that person, all right? So have, go nuts this time. Get it out of your system.